So you might say, even though I've put on 20 pounds, I'm still in really good shape. We would say that about ourselves because we know what we're able to do. We, we still run regularly, we still lift weights, we still have good cardiovascular health, we don't get out of breath. Those ways to measure or figure out you know, how healthy you are right now in terms of fitness, we might use in shape for that, regardless of how we look. So we might have, we might have put on a few extra pounds, but we could still say, I still think I'm in great shape. When we talk about fitness, what exactly are we talking about? Are we talking about how someone looks? Are we talking about their ability to run or jump? Are we talking about their heart health, right? Or, or how long they can hold their breath? What, what are we talking about? And what about phrases like in shape? and out of shape, in shape, and out of shape. What about these? What is this spape shape, out of shape? Well, I wanna explore this because there's there are a few different layers here. One layer is the actual meanings and then there's also connotation that we need to explore, all right? So broadly, when you say the word fitness as a noun, people think of it as a category. And usually when people think of fitness, the immediate association is exercise. So although, although fitness includes your diet and how you eat, right? Losing weight, for example, fitness is very important to me might include having a very healthy diet. When I say fitness is very important to me, most native English speakers are going to picture me maybe running or lifting weights or, or swimming or something like that, doing some physical exercise, either, either a, strength, a strength exercise, let me pop a little T in there, or perhaps a cardio exercise. Cardio would be things that make you breathe heavy and increase your heart rate, right? Uh, running and swimming and uh, jumping jacks and things like that. Things they do with the ropes, I think that's, I think that's cardio too. I don't know. <laughs> right? So that's what people naturally associate with fitness is the exercise part, right? But again, we're just talking about a broad category of activity there. What about if we remove the nest part and we just say, we just say he or she, she or he is very fit. Okay, now what are we picturing? Are we saying that they're healthy in terms of their heart? in terms of maybe their muscle mass, how much fat they have. Are they healthy, right? Or are we talking about looking great, having a great body, a muscular body, a toned body? What are we talking about here? We could be talking about either one, right? If, if someone says he or she is very fit, medically, medically, we're, we're only talking about how healthy they are, certain metrics, about their health, right? If they run for 20 seconds and after 20 seconds they're <gasps> breathing very heavy, then this person may not be fit, okay? So one, one meaning of this or one connotation of this is the sort of medical one and that is about how much activity you can do, really how healthy you are. That is your fitness, that is how fit you are. And even if you have a bit of a tummy, uh, you're a little bit chubby, you can, you can be fit overall, right? You, you maybe, maybe not morbidly obese, but at least you can be fit and not extremely muscular. We say shredded, right? So you can be fit, but not, 
<laughs> Let's, I'm going to use shredded. I like that, not shredded. So if you're shredded, that means you have amazing muscles, extremely cut angular muscles, very low body fat, right? You're shredded. But the more everyday usage of fit is more like you have muscles, you look fit, right? So because we're not doing medical, we're not walking around doing medical tests on people all day. Excuse me, let me let me take out my stethoscope. Ah, yes. <laughs> Uh, could you run for me for about 30 seconds? Oh, uh, mm, okay. Uh, you are very fit, even though you don't look like it. We don't do that. So we just look at people, and from their appearance, we make judgments. And so if we see someone who looks like they have nice muscles, and maybe they don't have a lot of fat, and they generally look very healthy, we would say he or she is very fit. You look very fit. You look fit. But, so we have, we use it in both both ways. Someone may look very fit and be extremely unhealthy. Okay, you have muscles, but uh, you're, you know, weeks away from death <laughs> because you're just lucky in the way that you look, but but you, you really aren't healthy at all. You don't take care of yourself. It, it happens to be how you look. <laughs> you look muscular, but it's because of all the drugs that you do, that you, you don't gain weight, and uh, it makes your muscles stand out. But <laughs> So you're not fit at all, but you look fit. So there's the perception, and people use fit for that, and then there's the medical reality, and people use fit for that. But the one that that is closer to the appearance is the more common one, okay? So what about people describing themselves then? If you describe yourself, it's probably a mix of the two. I'm getting more fit. I got fit this year. This year, my New Year's resolution is to get fit. Because it's about ourselves, we know what's going on inside of our bodies a little bit because of how we feel, and we know what we look like, or we want to look like, so by saying, I want to get fit, it probably both means, the way people usually use it, that I want to be healthier, probably, I want to have a healthier heart, I want to, I want to feel good, right, I don't want to get out of breath when I walk up a flight of stairs, and I want to look better, I want my muscles to be a little more pronounced, or more toned, I want to maybe lose 20 pounds, so getting fit might mean both there. So you can see that, you know, although they have the same meaning, we're using it in very different ways here. Now, what about in shape and out of shape? These, they mean the same thing. If you're not fit, you are out of shape, and if you are fit, you are in shape. That's it, that's it right? He or she is and we wouldn't say very in shape probably, but we would just say he or she is in shape. And what this means is exactly the same as fit, but sometimes there is more of an emphasis on the, on the appearance. And for this one, we don't usually use it in that more medical sense. Usually for the the, the truth, right, the medical truth of, yeah, you can run for a minute without getting out of breath, uh, we wouldn't say, okay, you're in shape. We would say, a doctor might say, okay, you're quite, you're quite fit or you are not fit, but they probably wouldn't say you are not in shape, you are out of shape. That's more of a, it's slightly more superficial in the way that, in the way that we use it. So we look at someone and we see that they are a little overweight, maybe, ch maybe chubby, maybe a little, a, f a bit, maybe kind of fat. Fat is usually f quite fat. So chubby, a little overweight. And we say, um, you know, he's kind of out of shape. He used to be in shape and now he's kind of out of shape because he works too much and stopped exercising. He's out of shape. That's kind of his appearance, a little pudgy. Oh, that's another one, a little pudgy. And uh, maybe just the appearance, not as healthy as before. Okay. But 
when we go back to the person talking about themselves, they then might be talking about themselves as in shape and out of shape, either to focus on their appearance or to focus on their health. So you might say, even though I've put on 20 pounds, I'm still in really good shape, right? We would say that about ourselves because we know what we're able to do. We, we still run regularly, we still lift weights, we still have good cardiovascular health, we don't get out of breath. Those ways to measure or figure out you know, how healthy you are right now in terms of fitness, we might use in shape for that regardless of how we look. So we might have we might have put on a few extra pounds, but we could still say, I still think I'm in great shape. Yes, I've gained weight, that's true, but I'm in great shape, still. You could say that. Now, some people will mean it that way, but some people will mean it the other way. Some people will focus on only the appearance. This year, my goal is to get in shape. And if we want that, if we want to achieve that, but we're not there, we use get. We say get fit and get in shape. Get, get, get. I want to get fit. I want to get in shape. And I think get in shape is more common than saying get fit. And usually, if I were to say it right now, my goal for 20, 2097 is to get in shape I'm probably focusing on being healthier, eating better, looking better, uh, maybe building a little muscle and running more and, you know, the overall sort of fitness that I want to achieve, including my appearance. And if it's a process, if we're moving away from that, for example, we were in, a, in, in really good shape and now we're sort of getting out of shape, getting out of shape. So we're sliding down. I'm kind of getting out of shape. I'm eating junk food. I'm not exercising enough and it's not good. I'm getting out of shape. I think a great example of this might be something like bodybuilders who have amazing muscles, giant muscles, but they might not necessarily be in shape at all. They're so out of shape, they can't run. They're so bulky, some of them may not be in great shape even though they are extremely muscular and they they look like works of art right so that's where all of this kind of gets into that territory of connotations of what does it mean in the way that you say it in the situation that you say it in it depends on the person it depends on the situation what you have to know is that we use these words differently sometimes to refer to the medical truth. <laughs> you uh, are not very fit. And sometimes to focus on the superficial appearance. Wow, he or she looks really fit or doesn't look very fit or is out of shape or is really in shape. And sometimes we're talking about both and usually the people talking about both are person who's saying that themselves because they live inside their own bodies. So they might mean it either way. Okay. So hopefully that clears things up or at least gives you a clue about <laughs> why this is not so clear if you thought they were very simple before. Okay. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you don't mind and you want to support the channel, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe. Also, Get a free course, a free English course to improve your spoken English. You can find that in the links in the description. Mm -hmm.